tips for the perfect Thanksgiving mashed potato. For your lightest, fluffiest mashed potatoes, the Idaho is your perfect choice. You can also choose the Yukon Gold. They're not as light and fluffy, but they do have a nice flavor. Cut your potatoes into a uniform size, about an inch by an inch. This allows for even quicker cooking. Always start your potatoes in cold water. This allows for an even cooking. If you start your potatoes with hot water, the outsides are going to cook before the inside's done and then just start to disintegrate. Generously salt your water because potatoes, they can handle a lot of salt. For each potato, I do two tablespoons butter and one quarter cup cream, one half teaspoon kosher salt, and one eighth teaspoon white pepper. I like white pepper for my mashed potatoes so I don't see those dark flecks throughout. So now I'm going to set my bowl with my butter and cream mixture on top of my potatoes and this will let it get hot during the cooking process so that I'm not putting cold butter or cream into my hot potatoes. When you come to a boil, reduce your heat to medium and start checking in 10 minutes. Now for me this has been 10 minutes and you want to check and you just want to be able to easily push down and for those potatoes to start to mash. These are perfect. You do not want to overcook your potatoes because they're going to absorb water and make your mashed potatoes well watery. Now I prefer my ricer for my mashed potatoes but of course the good old potato masher works perfectly. Now your potato ricer is going to give you those perfectly smooth no lump mashed potatoes. Your potato masher, well, you might have a few lumps, but a lot of people, they like the lumps. Now you just want to gently mix in your potatoes. You do not want to vigorously beat them. That is going to break down the glutens, making them have a gummy texture. And then you want to taste to see if it needs more salt, pepper, butter, or cream. I'm going with another pinch of salt. Now this, this is just your basic mashed potato. You could add Worcester cheese, cream cheese, sour cream, Parmesan cheese, caramelized onions, roasted garlic, so many things you can add to enhance your basic mashed potato. And now for the absolute best part, you can make these mashed potatoes an hour, an hour and a half before dinner starts. And you're gonna to wanna to tightly cover them with saran wrap. And now all you need is a couple inches of simmering water in a pot, put your bowl over your pot, and they're gonna stay warm until you need. I hope this helps and I'll see you later.